Now, I think I can guess what you're thinking. <laughs> 2017 to 2019 were the best years of my life. I went from not being able to perform a single push-up to doing no feet on the ground. Yeah, nah. Maybe that's the case for others, but definitely not for me. In reality, I don't know what I was doing most of the time. My workouts were structured poorly. I didn't warm up properly and ended up injuring myself many times. I jumped into difficult exercises way too early. I didn't eat the right things because I thought the exercising was going to solve everything. And yeah, everything was a shamble. With each and every passing week, I would say the same lie. This week is going to be different. I'm going to start losing weight. Well, you know, I would do the usual. Work out, eat, study, and sleep. Occasionally, go out to a party every now and then. I remember one time I went to a party and I challenged someone to a push-up competition. Obviously, I won. But I ended up leaving early so that I could work out again first thing in the morning. Yeah, you don't need to know that, but, you know, I had that moment. Basically, I was living in a life full of distractions. Distractions that I gave into and the hopes of fitting in with society. I had friends and family tell me to do things that conflicted with my inner desires. The most important one, which was to start losing weight. And at the end of 2016, I got sick of being boxed in and decided to start my serious journey to losing weight. I couldn't afford a gym membership, so I looked for ways to exercise without weights. And that was when I discovered calisthenics. I told myself, there's no way I would be able to achieve any of this. It's impossible. Keyword, impossible. What if in three years time, I don't lose any weight? What if I end up worse than I am right now? I wasn't a fan of being boxed into my head. And that's when I decided, I'm gonna live my life chasing the impossible. The fear Listen, so at this point I had lost around 9 kilos in body fat. I started at 69 kilos and by the end of 2017 I dropped down to 60 kilos. And as anyone would, I was extremely happy with my results. But as the school holidays approached, I started to kick back, relax with my diet a bit, and my workouts became less intense. That one cheat day turned into a cheat month. No, two in fact. And you're probably thinking, Vince, why did you let yourself slip? You basically wasted an entire year working out, only to find yourself rebounding in the weight you lost. And to answer to that, honestly, I started to take things easy because I didn't have any other goals to chase. I mean, I did achieve my main goal, which was to lose weight. And yeah, I achieved it. So, to set myself back on track, I set more goals for myself at the end of 2017. Two mean two years time. Well, fitness wise, I'd like to be able to muscle up in two years time. I'd like to be able to front liver. I'd like to be able to back liver. Mm, who knows? So yeah. Mm. Do your best. See you in two, two years time.
Up throw, up, up, up! Yes! So yeah, live on chasing the impossible.